All right, so today we're going to be talking about putting Neverwet on your computer electronics for cosplay or costume purposes uh, so that it protects it from uh, the moisture from inside your costume if you're wearing an armored piece. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some rubbing alcohol right there, rubbing alcohol. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it on the Q-tip. We're going to swab the board down. Now what we're looking to do is we're looking to take off all the, uh, all the flux that was done previously. Um, as well as the flux that was added when I soldered the components together uh, on the board. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dab this real quick. Let it dry for about 15 minutes and then we'll start adding coats of uh, the uh, Neverwet onto the, the board itself. Uh, so that's the first side. You just swab the areas where you think the flux is going to be because you don't want anything um, interfering with the, the Neverwet because uh, it may the flux may react with it and cause a weak uh, weak point, which uh, you wouldn't want to have happen because then your electronics are completely ruined. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this dry for about said about 15 minutes or so. Um, make sure it's completely air dried off, and then we'll go ahead and start applying the uh, the Neverwet. Okay, so I've applied the first coat of Never Wet. Uh, as you can see, it's somewhat glossy looking right now compared to what it was before. Uh, i got to let this dry for about a half an hour, and then I'll apply, be applying the second coat uh, to the board as well. As you can see, I've got nice coverage on everything. It's not over clumped on there. Uh, it's, there's no, um, no runs. You want a nice, even coverage on the board uh, with the Never Wet. Um, and once again, this is after you swab it off with some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to make sure you get all the flux and, and um, other contaminants off the board uh, so you have a nice straight seal uh, with the Neverwet. So um, I'm going to let this sit for about another 25 minutes or so, and then uh, I'll be back to shoot the second coat. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. I'm going to go ahead and add the second coat on top, and it's going to lightly just mist it. You can see it dries relatively quickly and it gives it a frosted appearance after it's dried. Just enough to get it some good coverage on it. I'm trying to get the edges as well. Now if you notice I did the top first. That's because if I sprayed the bottom and then put it on the top it wouldn't work very well. So. Um, Okay, now we're going to flip it over and do the back side. If the cable will allow me to be... Okay. As you notice, I don't know if you can see that, uh, it's gotten more of a dull appearance, not as shiny as it was before. So that's the, uh, that's the first coat. The second coat will add a frost on top of it. And that's pretty much about it. So I gotta let that wait for to dry for. Um, let me see here. Thirty minutes before exposing to to liquid. Uh, I'm gonna give it about a day or two just because I don't want to rush it, um, and then I'll be doing some testing with this chip. So um, stay tuned for more uh, hel helmet assembly type stuff. Uh, also. Uh, the rest of the tutorial on how to create the the rest of this chip here uh, and a lot more other tutorials uh, thanks for watching guys if this has helped you out subscribe like share and as always do your thing